Why do we celebrate July 4th? Because we love America. Besides loving America. Well, I don't, I don't know why you celebrate it, but I celebrate it because I love America. And we got our, uh, our independence, our freedom. From who? Uh, from other countries. Do you not know the country? Uh, what country is it? That we got our independence. Yeah, what, is it? what country? Are you serious, bro? <laughs> Do you know why we celebrate July 4th? Um, I have no idea. Do you know why we ce celebrate the July 4th? Oh, no, I don't know that. No, I don't celebrate July 4th. I just, a good day to get drunk and shit. Do you know why we celebrate July 4th? For America. Why for America? Like our f rights and freedom. Do you know, like, who we gained independence from on July 4th? I know I don't. You know anything about July 4th? Not really, no. It's just like another day to get drunk? Basically, yeah. Is there anything you want to tell all the Americans out there? Uh, shit, I don't know, man. Have a good summer. Do you know why we celebrate July 4th? Yeah, it's our Independence Day. Well, Independence from who? At that time, it was uh, Britain. <laughs> you know, and look, hey, give it up for the king. What, King Charles? Well, I don't know. But why do we celebrate July 4th? Recognize our independence of our own state of being, aside from England. And, um... We have strong ties with England even today, but uh, sometimes at some point we have to learn to walk on our own. Why do we celebrate the 4th of July? Because of Jesus. He's the one that created the whole world. He's the one that is Lord and Lord of my life. That's why we celebrate the 4th of July? Because of Jesus? Jesus first, then the 4th of July, because 4th of July is not nothing except for him. Is America the greatest country on earth? The greatest. The absolute greatest country on earth. Why? No doubt. Just is. Name two founding fathers. George Washington, John Adams. When was the Declaration of Independence signed? 1776. Go, go educate that man. Do you know why we celebrate July 4th? It's the Independence Day. It's Correct. Do you know who we gained independence from? From England. Can you name a couple of the founding fathers for us? Actually, at the at the tea party itself. Oh, yeah. The I Paul mean, Revere thing. Well, and yeah. Well, the founders were. Well, Paul Revere had to be one of them because he was the one running through the streets, right? Yeah, and he was pretty fast, too. He's pretty fast. I, I'm from New Hampshire, so oh, I know right. I know the whole Paul Revere trail. Do you know why we celebrate July 4th? Uh, Independence Day of the U.S. <laughs> Correct. Independence from who? From the British. Correct. And do you know what year the Declaration of Independence was signed? Not exactly. I will say I only moved here five years ago, so. Can you guess? It was 252 years ago. Do you know when the Declaration of Independence was signed? 1776. And do you know when the Declaration of Independence was signed? Uh, no. When was it signed? 1776. Okay, good. Not interesting. Can you name three founding fathers? Uh, John Quincy. I oh, that's the Constitution. Oh, that's a good one. Right off the top of my head, no. I have a concussion. So. Do you know any founding fathers? No, nah, I don't. No. When the year the Declaration of Independence was signed? 78 or 87, I'm not sure. Close. 1776. 76. Can you name three founding fathers? Abraham Lincoln. Oh my God. You're putting me on this immigration test. I'm <laughs> from overseas. Did you, like, did you take the civics test to become a citizen? Yes, I did. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Okay. And can you name three founding fathers? George Bush, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, I don't know the... Uh, no, I don't know the other one. Can you name a couple of the founding fathers? Here? Yeah. Founding Father. fathers in America? I know Jesus is one of them. He's the only one to me. Only founding father? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. him. And so I'll give you He's one last question, one. Man. He's the only one. So is this the greatest country in the world, ma'am? No, uh, Jesus is the greatest country. He's the one number one. All right. I don't think about the countries. I think about him saving souls and delivering people yes, from demons and devils. Because the devils is not, but he, he could be destroyed anyway because God's got his, hand, got his hand right there. Is America the greatest country on earth? No, look, what you name one that is. They all got a shit problem. Some have more power than others. Some have nuclear weapons and shouldn't. Uh, like Rocket Man Kim Jong Un. You can't tell me that's the best and the brightest North Korea's got to offer, right? Kim Jong Un. Or that Vladimir Putin's the best and the brightest that Russia's got to offer for leadership. No. Who's your favorite founding father? You know, a lot of them were slave owners. Uh, a lot of them kind of. Didn't they left the Constitution so arbitrary that it's kind of led to a lot of problems later in American history? But I mean, I'd say like Washington. Who knows? Is so? Is America the greatest country on earth? Yeah, well, in certain aspects. What aspects are, is it not? Maybe freedom of speech. Maybe I don't know. It used to be greater. Hmm. Now it seems to be uh, restricted. Oh, we we don't speak enough, or we speak too freely. I think there's not a, a single source of truth mm -hmm. that people agree what agree with, right? So it's hard to come together. Yeah. 
The United States of America is the best country on earth because we have everything to share, give. We have diversity, we have inclusion, we have prosperity and freedom and liberty and... Is America the greatest country on earth? You want me to tell? I mean, it's a great country, but I don't know if it's the greatest. Why, not, why is it not the greatest? I mean, there is a lot of things that need improvement. Like I, what? Everyday things in life, like healthcare system, education for our kids, safety, um, the food. Food in general, like, you know, like um, everything is so, like, not labeled correctly and everything is modified. And I'm from overseas, so... Um, Where are you from? I'm originally from Croatia, Bosnia. And I lived in Germany and it's, it was a culture shock for me when I moved here with how people eat and what they eat. Is America the greatest country on earth? No. What is? I'm not sure. You know, there are plenty of other European nations who have more left-leaning um, governments that, you know, have inspired a lot more change. We have a lot of problems over here that we need to deal with and we need to modernize in a lot of different ways. It's a challenge. I love a good challenge. And I love a good win-win situation. Long live President Joe Biden and First Lady Joe Biden. Thank you very much. Oh, there you have it, folks. You cannot make this up. Who do you think is going to win the next presidency? Uh, Donald Trump, is, you know, since his conviction, his uh, uh, poll numbers have gone up like almost 30% or something like that. You think that. he's going to win? Uh, he's probably going to win the Republican Party's nomination, yes. And he's then who's going to win overall? I'd say Biden will win. Why? Um, I think he's overall more electable to the majority of the people of America. Have you seen him falling off stages? Yeah, I look, I think he's too old, you know, but uh, hey, Kamala Harris ain't so bad, right? <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah, I think he's too old, he shouldn't have run again. You know, sometimes they take the U.S. military and they do things like they shouldn't do. And Vietnam would arguably be one. And then, you know, you got the freaking Afghanistan war. We hand it back to the Taliban after we fought them for 20 years. Look, that is ridiculous. Look, I've turned... Why did Biden do that? No, it was uh, Donald Trump who did that, and Biden went along with it. That's what I really don't like uh, that Biden did. I just set five world records, bicycling 24,901 miles for all charity, something no bicyclist in history has done. It's my second time doing it. But why did the chief of staff of the U.S. Army give me this? Because I've raised over 300000 for our troops since 9-11. Flew over there for Christmas 2006. Handed out 7,000 phone cards on five combat bases. President Bush wrote to thank me. I hold the keys to 61 U.S. cities. That's a world record. Now, that 24,901 miles I just did to save your life and everyone else's because it's for all charities, it's my second time doing it. That's another world record. I've gone over 76,000 miles the hard way to save your life, his life, and everybody On else's. your legs? Uh-huh, yeah. How, how, how how long, how long How long did that record, take? Uh, 48 years. I got 12 world records now and I made world history at least 10 times to save the lives of strangers and promote world peace.